welcome this is Alon Geva and I'd like to open some sentences of different masters who share wisdom it's not a religion you're just pointing to recognize who you truly are your true self which is so close to you closer than your breath closer than the thoughts that appear because it is your true being which is absolutely still and silent filled with joy and love and presence beyond any imagination so the question Questioner, Master Wuxin, thoughts continue to intrude on my meditation. I cannot drive them away. The Master answers, one's natural stance is thought free. Thought arises projecting a person in a world. It is all imagination. What one truly is, is beyond imagination. In that regard, we discover our true self when we stop imagining. Let the thoughts come, but give them no attention. Again, this might be advanced for some people, some seekers of truth. Yet, recognize if you can find a seeker. Really check if there is a seeker right now and sense, feel, see, realize who is there when you check. Are you a seeker? Are you consciousness itself? Presence of awareness. So if it's too advanced, stay with these words allow it to permeate into your world be open like the sky and if you find it of no use for you or it doesn't interest you just disregard it throw it and if you don't like it you can turn this video anytime so the master answer one's natural stance is thought free Thought arises, projecting a person in a world. It is all imagination. What one truly is, is beyond imagination. In that regard, we discover our true self when we stop imagining. Let the thoughts come, but give them no attention. What I, I see many layers here. I'll touch something that might be helpful is about shifting the attention when our mind goes through our outward to the sense perception sense of hearing sense of touch sense of touch, uh, sight sense of smell and taste our mind shifting all the time from seeing to hearing to tasting to smelling to touch and then it is shifting from thought to thought to thought. You can shift in order to allow a gap of space to open between two thoughts. You can shift to your breath. You can inhale. Hold the breath. And check in, in, in an instant if you have a thought. You hold it, you hold it, you hold it. And then you exhale. And then you inhale again. And you hold it. Because the mind and the breath, they go along together. That can give you a glimpse of having no thought. Just to recognize that you remain when there is no thought. And you don't, and when thoughts appear, it's not that you begin, it's your life story begins, yet you remain. 
when we are disturbed by thoughts that means we are resisting the thoughts themselves we are reacting to the thoughts that give more energy to the thoughts that when we shift the attention to the breath from the thought then the thoughts gonna start to subside not all the time at times and if you can sense who you truly are prior to any thought before a thought arises if you can sense the presence and can shift the attention to that which is aware the thoughts don't get any energy and then you can start experiencing more and more and more being thought free and not identifying yourself as the thinker as we touch and we go into inquiry then you start to see who is the thinker is there a thinker and when you look for who you think you are truly and intently you might recognize who you truly are there is a transmission that is happening in this video see if you can tap into connect to this frequency this vibration of presence If you do, stay, fix the attention on that. Don't you love it? This is the most essential. Is who we truly are. Peace resides within you as yourself. Silence is you as yourself. Joy, bliss, unalloyed happiness, beyond any description, beyond any imagination, so delicious that the more that you recognize yourself as your true self, the beingness, the more you fall in love in yourself and merge, melt into your true self. I wish you great success. Love you very much. Thank you so much. And see you next time.